I have two penny stocks with insane potential for growth, and I have an upcoming catalyst list for both of these stocks. So stay tuned, you guys. I'm going to lay it all out, what's coming in the short term and what you can expect long term. If you want to hop in on that $10,000 penny stock challenge and the private discord, the link is down below. Check that out and slam that like button if you're feeling like an absolute beast today. First stock we got in today's video is ticker ILUS. ILUS International, they are pink current with an $83 million market cap. ILUS is still my top long term penny stock on the entire market no matter what the short-term price action may do and what it's been doing lately because of dilution i know where this company is going to go long term and i am very confident Eyeless will make me significant gains. It's just a matter of time. Eyeless just dropped some big news that makes my conviction even higher for the stock, higher than it was yesterday, a week ago, a month ago. First of all, Eyeless specializes in providing energy efficient, life saving firefighting technology and electric vehicles alongside modern emergency service vehicles and equipment. Eyeless is changing the firefighting game. Eyeless is changing the emergency service vehicle game, and they're doing it all electric, you guys. Currently, wildfires and global disasters are becoming more common due to drastic changes in the global climate. There has been over 20,000 wildfires since the beginning of 2021. Eyeless's push for more sustainable technology is now making these vital components available on a global scale wherever they're needed. So they're trying to make this technology, you know, available on a global scale. Eyeless just released their quarterly results today, May 20th, and outlined the future plans. And I got a whole crazy list for you guys coming up here. They released an infographic and they released a PR. I'm going to link the infograph down below and this is a more visual look at what they've been doing and what they've done in quarter one. I'm going to link that down below, but we're big boys. We got to put our big boy pants and read the PR and this lays out everything for you guys. And after this, I'm going to I'm going to make it even easier for you guys to understand what the catalyst was. Eyeless reports that every key significant key performance indicator was exceeded during the first quarter of 2021. Impressive. The company is continuing to conduct due diligence and negotiations for several further acquisitions. Considering that Firebug was only acquired at the end of January, then TVC in February, the company still managed to top $500,000 in revenue, 73,000 net profit from operations, and 11.8 million profits from investment. So most of that is coming from their investments, but that's okay because we want to see a company that's obviously smart with what they're investing in. Eyeless expects revenue to increase significantly as travel restrictions decrease and the new strategy begins to deliver the expected results with the large acquisition pipeline that Eyeless management team is getting closer to, concluding and with its organic growth of a new product rollout plans. Eyeless expects to achieve a run rate of between 15 and 20 million by the fourth quarter 2021. Eyeless was profitable in the first quarter. Eyeless expects a net profit of 5 to 10 percent over the next few quarters while upcoming acquisitions do take place. The management is prioritizing profitable growth and cash liquidity in order to allow it to execute deals. So they want profit, they want growth. That's what any company strives for. Eyeless has strengthened its balance sheet by closing the first quarter 2021 with an asset value of $20 million. The company previously disclosed that it was in negotiations with the old debt holders to settle or restructure the debt and is pleased to confirm that has successfully signed a settlement deal with the major debt holder, thereby eliminating the balance of the toxic debt and restructuring a small portion into long-term non-toxic debt, which took place on May 12th, you guys. If you guys didn't know, with Eyeless, the reason the price has been going down, even when we get great news, it's been going down or it's been staying steady. It's been doing nothing, you guys. No green for Eyeless in the past couple of months or weeks. A big reason why this was happening was major dilution. And this is a problem with OTC stocks. Now they're trying to say that they're moving in the right direction. We're not 100% sure if this dilution is over. But for the most part, it seems like they are. They say here, Eyeless is very happy to confirm that there are no further conversions to take place. And this is the end of a frustrating chapter for the company. So hopefully there's no more dilution, hopefully. And maybe the stock price can react better to good news, okay? During the first quarter, trading volume increased by 130,000% and the share price has increased by 8,000%. The company has achieved huge milestones in quarter one. Eyeless is in the process of a complete marketing overhaul and the planning the rollout of its organic expansion plans. The company is seeking suitable facilities in India and the USA for implementation as soon as possible. Although the company is actively seeking a suitable acquisition in the USA, it will move forward immediately by establishing a facility in the USA to stimulate organic growth in the interim. Eyeless will be doing Q&As, TV interviews, magazine articles, and are in the final stages of planning USA, Asia, and Middle East roadshows and exhibition centers for investors. So, you know, lay out more of what these products actually do do because 
we know a lot about the products, but we don't fully know 100% everything about their products in details. Ilos achieved a lot during the first quarter, yet still has a significant amount to get done. Now that we went over the PRs, here are the upcoming catalysts that you gotta look forward to in the short term. These are coming in the short term and they will be very beneficial for the long term. So Ilos will be doing Q&A, TV interviews, all that good stuff. They are in the process of a complete marketing overhaul and planning a roll of its organic expansion plans. The revenue increased to 509,000, 73, K from net profit from their operations and 11.8 million from investments. Quarter three predictions are a revenue increase by 100%. Five new products are coming, three new acquisitions and a US distribution. This has been a long-term goal for Ilos to be getting into the US market seems to be coming into place. Fully reporting their financials, but they still need to be updated on otcmarkets.com. So that's something to look out for, otcmarkets.com. Type in Ilos, look at there. They still plan a significant revenue increase for 2021 and it should increase even more in 2022. A net profit increase of 5 to 10 percent over the next few quarters canadians can trade ilos very soon bringing in new investors in higher volume a global strategic acquisition is coming including three new acquisitions india and usa facilities are coming soon they are trying to build them up they're trying to get those facilities up many q a's coming very soon dubai facility photos released soon i'm expecting that to be released on their twitter a shareholder meeting is coming soon middle east road shows are coming up and the ceo plans to show the Isla's progress, their future and their visions to high net worth and influential people. We don't know who these people are yet, but maybe they're going to be billionaires and they're going to dump money in Isla US. That's what we want. I don't know though. There has been some insider buying going on lately. This management team, McCarthy, they have been buying up all these penny stocks. They bought PLTR, I-L-U-S, second on their list of new purchases. They bought a total of 125 million. I'm not 100% sure how much specifically of Ilus they did buy, but they also bought WDLF, UATG, and VXIT. You guys probably know those stocks. McCarthy Asset Management has seen the revolutionary technology that Ilus has and decided to buy into a position. The big guys are buying Ilus and holding for the long term. They know what's up and you all need to know what's up and I'm telling you right now. Next stock, VBHI, Verde Bio Holdings. It's a one cent stock, $11 million market cap. They're currently pink current. Already, you guys, VBHI has been making huge moves in 2021. Every month, they seem to announce at least two to six new acquisitions in may alone they have already completed two acquisitions and i expect more to come in may on may 12th vbhi announced a new acquisition on may 12th they announced they have agreed to purchase a portfolio of mineral and royalty interest the interest to be acquired by verde currently produces a combined revenue of approximately twenty four thousand dollars per month so bam 24k right in their pocket right after this acquisition you guys today's announcement brings the total number of acquisitions to 15 and all 15 are since the beginning of 2021 you guys and it's only halfway through not even halfway through 2021 you guys they currently expect that to be 82,000 per month throughout the 15 and almost 1 million dollars per year with all these acquisitions 13 wells currently in production across the acquired acreage producing approximately 20k per month in revenue and guess what significant upside expected you guys they have untapped revenue so not only are they going to get that 24k they have more coming from this one acquisition so that revenue should increase over time and that revenue in all 15 of their acquisitions will increase over time because they have untapped wells here, you guys. Not only do they instantly gain 24K a month from this acquisition, they also have a chance for further upside to further increase that number. And they officially closed this acquisition on May 19th. As you can see here, just yesterday, bam, it was done. Subscribe to the channel right now, you guys, because I'm bringing you guys this information literally as it comes out. Why is VBHI a great play? They only acquire cash producing assets, okay? They make $82,000 a month and nearly 1 million of revenue per year and a very reliable source. Not many penny stocks and OTC stocks have that. They have a $200,000 a month revenue target. This should be easily achieved without quickly. They've been acquiring new companies. They have 15 total acquisitions with the goal to get 30 they hit a high of 10 cents with much lower revenue at the point where they hit that 10 cents there's no reason why they cannot hit that mark again if we have some patience they said an otcqb uplisting is coming in the next two quarters so that's a catalyst to look forward to and that was from the april 19th shareholder update so i'm pulling this straight from what they're telling me they acquired an asset management software platform on april 13th they have a new website coming soon that should be coming any day now since it was announced on april 19th along with the corporate presentation coming soon as you can see there that was announced in the corporate update on april 19th the current ceo grew his last company from a two million dollar market cap all the way to a 120 million dollar market cap could he do that with vbhi maybe vbhi is currently sitting at 11 million if it got to 120 million insane gains there's a lot of catalysts coming soon for vbhi 
So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, you guys. Make sure you like the video right now and comment if you want to hop in on this $10,000 penny stock challenge. The link is down below. It's literally a fantastic community with a Discord. You get all the stock picks early and a daily video update. And if you want two free stocks valued up to $18.50, I just got $100 stock from this literally yesterday. It's crazy. Free stocks, free money. Check it out. That's it for the video. Peace.